Today I'm going to teach you how to edit a pretty good Minecraft video. For this tutorial, I am using Shotcut. It is what I use for my videos. It is a free editing software. It's free real estate. If you don't want to spend money on Premiere Pro. So when you load it up, it should look like this or something like this. If you don't have all of these here, go up to view and click on them here and then they'll pop up here. What I do is I usually take them, pick them up like this and drag them to another monitor but yours is gonna look something like this, so let's leave it like this. First thing you wanna do, go to playlist, open file, and drag your files into here. I'm not gonna teach you how to record because that's not what this is. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be grabbing one of these little clips here. This is kind of a spoiler to a future video of mine, but who cares? So it should look something like this. I'm going to drag the job section out of my way so I get a little bit more space here. Click on the little plus sign, drag it down to the timeline here. Fills on the timeline, give it a minute to load up the audio wave things because those are very important for this. And bring in all your sound effects and everything you're going to use for your video. Here's my sound effects and music. Add them into the thing. Also, you're going to want to add yourself your overlays. So for that, I have a file for video effects. I'm going to grab my subscribe animation. Make sure you click the plus sign if you're adding just one. I'm gonna add a few more things and yeah, then we'll go to the next part. You'll probably also have this little audio player thing right here on the side. It's not really important. I'm moving it to the next monitor. I'm going to first of all, snip this little area. You see at the beginning, there's this long part before I say a word. I'm gonna put my little thing here by just left clicking and dragging it over to about here. Click on the thing, just click anywhere on this and then click S on your keyboard. Click on this new little slice thing and then X. Then you got this here. Okay, so now we have this little clip here that goes- now I just noticed these little pink flower things here. They're called firecracker flower bush. Yes, now we have that little clip. I'm gonna go to the filters tab here, which you'll be on playlist. Click on filters. It might be in any order. Click the plus sign, search up text, and click on text simple. This will load up looking like this. Go to size and change it. Leave the 1920 part, but where it says 1080, change that to 175. Just like that, and then right here, I think I use 775. Yes, this is usually what I use. And do not change the this position here, which is the X position, I think. Something like that. Scroll up, click on where it says Verdanana. That is your font. Pick whatever font you want. I usually use either semi-bold or for my main one, I use this Minecraft font, which you do have to download separately. Link in the description to the video that I made showing you how to do that. Click OK. Go down to the thickness of it of the uh, outline, change that to 30, and then click on the outline. And I change the color depending on who's speaking. And since it's me speaking, I do purple. Click on your color. Okay, now you have an outline there. It's just numbers growing. And I say, now I just noticed, okay? What I'm gonna do is pull up Discord because I cannot spell and use it as a spell check. Even if I'm 100% certain I know how to spell a word, I'm just gonna write out the sentence and then put it in here just to make sure I got it all right because Shotcut will not spell check for you. Now I just noticed, just like that, now I just noticed, and then you are gonna let that go. Do not just snip just... the clip and put on the next thing. First thing you wanna do is go to the keyframes tab. Pull out this little green thing, pull it out like literally just a millisecond. Your text is gonna be huge when you go back to the beginning of the clip. We don't want that. So right here, it's small. Drag your little thing all the way to the beginning where it's big. Go back to the filters tab. Go back to size. And as you can see, the size changed. You have to be on the very beginning for it to let you actually change it back. So yeah, make sure you go here, drag it all the way. Change this to basically what you had it as. So I had it as 175, I think. And then this was at 775. Now, what you're going to do is leave the positioning here, but right here, we're gonna change this from 175 to 180. And now it's a little bit bigger. So now when you play the clip, it shrinks a little bit. And that's all you have to do with that. Let that go. After I say noticed, which is right here, I'm gonna click S right where my cursor is. It should stay like that. And now I'm gonna put this little flower. I actually say these, so make sure you double check it. I say these little pink things. Put in your text there. I say flower, never mind. Make sure you're double checking over and over again. And basically you go through your clip and make sure you get it how you want it to be.
As you can see, I didn't have to go back to keyframe and do that for every clip. After I did it for the whole clip, no, it should these do it for every little text just like that. So now it should have it for every clip just like this. I do not have to go back and do the animating part or the keyframing part every time. So now a very important thing is sound effects. So I'm going to my playlist and I'm going to make sure you have your sound effects. Make sure you have good sound effects, okay? Use memes. Memes are great sound effects. Make sure you get music that are popular in the YouTube community like like Wii music, Undertale music, all that stuff. Make sure you get a subscribe animation thing because that is very important to convince people to subscribe. Put this in your intro, which actually I can show you guys an intro I've been working on. Here's an intro to a video that I'm actually making currently. I've been editing, working it on, and here's how it goes. We are playing on a server where we have mutant superpowers. <laughs> I can fly because I'm an Elytrian and I don't- And so that's just a little kind of clip of the intro. I'm not going to show the whole intro because I don't want you to see it all. I could just add text here, just a text here, and no one would care. But since it's animated, it kind of adds a smoothness to it, and it's kind of soothing to the eye to see, to watch it bubble in. And to add music and sound effects, I click on this little thing, and I like to name these, okay? So this is video one. This is now the main footage. Now, I'm going to click on this, click control U. That's going to add an audio one, which I'm going to change to sound effects. Click control U again, which will add another one, which will be sound effects two, because stacking sound effects really, really works out good. Now I'm going to do it again, control U, but this now third one is going to be music. Do this again, but with control I, which will add another video track above that, I will name overlay. But now there is a possibility of your shortcut crashing, so make sure you click file and then save as and then type in your whatever name you want it to be just so you don't lose any progress. I'd say do that like every time you get five minutes in, I would save it because it really does help not having to go back and do the subtitles all over again. Cut out any areas where I'm not talking much and yeah, basically just edit this whole clip. But for this, we're just editing this part and to add a sound effect playlist, you literally just take your sound effect and you drag it in just like that and put it there. Snip out any area you don't want of it now you got a sound effect. Same with music, put it in your music layer and just kind of keep organized. So this is basically me more showing you how to do the subtitles than edit a full video, but you get the idea. Editing a full video, I kind of gave you some tips to do that. And so yeah, that's basically all you want to do. When you're done, click export. I would go to this YouTube tab, go to the Kodak and change it from 80, 55, change it to 85% export file, name it whatever you want, enter and save it like that. And then you have this little jobs tab here that will load your file. Since this is a small file, it will take it just a few seconds. And it will be checked like this. And that's basically all you want to do. And you're basically done. Close shortcut, upload your video and you're done. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that simple. Subscribe.